Marco, I know, I know it was against a different kind of opponent than what y'all are going to play this weekend, but how much, how much does it help having a game like y'all had the other night running the ball? Um, it gave us great confidence going into this week, knowing that we have to face a very tough run defense. We just have to establish a run and just go from there. What's it meant for you guys mixing in the schemes and, and doing some different things up front? It looks like it's opened things up in the running game a little bit for you guys especially. Yeah, it has. When you mix in gap and zone schemes, like it gives the defense a lot to concentrate on. So somebody's not going to be accounted for, which we had a lot of open runs and such and such. So just mixing in zone and scat, um, gap scheme like helps out a lot. You guys mentioned that, uh, that you guys had some options if, if Tega couldn't couldn't go, and one of them, I mean, you're you're a former offensive tackle. You you ready to step out there for the Eagles? Yeah, man. Whatever it takes to help the team win, man. I'm all in. Well, what about Bo Nix? Tells you that he's ready for this moment. Um, like I said, man, he's just a leader on and off the field. Like you see it from week one, just making that throw against Oregon, and then like um, every week he has improved on something. And last week you can show he showed the ability to like be able to um, make the right reads and pulls and gives. So just seeing him grow every week is just like a testament just to uh, how hard he works on and off the field. Does it surprise you even a little that he's progressed? <laughs> no, nah, because I think I said in like in a previous interview that he's not like a normal freshman that comes in. Like he just has that leadership and he knows when to take role, when he knows what to do. And I'm just really proud of him and how he responds. What uh, what do you see out of this Texas a name, especially that front? Oh man, that, um, front seven is really good. You go back and watch the game last year; they're really good last year, and they just seem to keep getting better and better. Really solid against the run and like um, give you some different things on um, passing downs. So I'm excited for our offense a lot and our offense as a whole because it's um, a test to see where we really are in the season. Is that what this game is as a team? I mean, when you start asking these players, that even though you played Oregon, that you kind of have to show people that you're for real, that you're really a league contender and all that? Yeah, because one, you got to win on the road, especially like you want to play for a national championship. You have to win on the road in hostile environments. And going to College Station is not going to be easy. Because it's just going to be us on the field. It's not like we have a home field advantage. So just to go out there and like whatever it takes to win, that's what we're going to do. Oh, and those crowd noise drills. Can you take them to the yeah, he, he's done a great job. You know, like I said, he just continue to be a leader, continue to grow week in and week out. Is there any trick to that, or is it just not being shot? Yeah, just like I said, he's not like a regular freshman, so he just continues like to elevate each week. Have they done that more this year than they had in the past since they got the, the freshman and everything? Uh, no, nah, not really. It's the same, the same uh, formula. Are there any other questions?